Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of describing the coordinate plane. This is standard 5.8b in the great state of Texas and we are using number 18 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Yvonne and she is using a coordinate grid for the first time. She wants to find the location of 3 comma 7. So starting at the origin, which movement should Yvonne do first? Well, let's see if we can visualize this a little bit. So our coordinate grid is going to look like this. And let's see if we can label it correctly here. So we've got some arrows. And we always start with the intersection right here. So the intersection right here is where both of the axes meet, and that is 0, 0. Now, this horizontal axis is our x-axis, so it is completely horizontal, moves left and right. And then we've got our y-axis up here, and this is completely vertical. It makes a 90 degree perpendicular angle. And we're going to need to move at least seven. So let's see if we can label some of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. That's more than we need. So what should we do first? Well, let's let's begin here at our starting point because it says starting at the origin. Well, let's go ahead and label that. The origin is where everything begins. And that's our intersection of the x-axis and the y-axis. And it actually has a coordinate pair 0, comma, 0. So in this particular coordinate grid, in fifth grade, we only deal with positive numbers. When you get to sixth grade and above, you actually look at all four quadrants because sometimes the x and the y values can be negative. And so your origin is right there. So what we're dealing with right here in fifth grade is this right here, this what they call quadrant one, positive x and positive y. So if we were to plot 3, 7, what would we do first? Well, let's take a look at 3, 7. That ordered pair actually gives you the directions as to what to do because they give it to you in the x-coordinate first and the y-coordinate second. Think of alphabetical order. x comes before y, and so the x-coordinate comes before the y-coordinate. And so we always move along the x-axis first because that is going to help us find our x-coordinate. So if we were to start at the origin and we were to move uh, 3, let me show some hops here. I'd go 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to put a little dot right there. There's my 3 value. Now we're not done, but that at least gets us along the x-axis. And so then what we do next is we move up the y-axis, but we move up according to the y-coordinate, so that means 7. So let me go ahead and label these. I don't want to lose track. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And there we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move up, and I'm just going to put some little dots so you can see. So I moved over 3, and I'm going to move up 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, big dot there, that's our landing spot. So you see right there we've got three comma seven. So that's this place on the coordinate grid. It's over to the right three, it's up seven. Now what did Yvonne do first? Well after we started the origin, what she did is she moved right along the x-axis to 3. That's actually what we did. Move up along the... No, we don't move up, and even if we did, we should be moving up 7. We cannot move right along the y-axis to 7, and we cannot move up along the x-axis to 7. Our answer is F. 